Zero fossil fuel. I've uh, spent most of my evening tonight repairing, unfortunately, the mi electric microphone on my uh, headset. Unfortunately, the last one crapped out for some reason, and I had to spend quite a bit of time repairing it. But fortunately, I had a spare electric condenser element that I could solder in there and put it back together. Uh, one of the things that I've been working on is refining my gas measuring device and this is a little bit of a hybrid uh, from the one that Sid Young put together and it has a, uh, a smaller base than, than the last one I did with the 2 liter bottle. In fact I still have that one here. I'll bring that out and show you. This one will be good when I'm doing very large gas measurements. This one will accurately or fairly accurately show a liter and a half of displacement the smaller one is easier to maneuver and it shows 500 milliliters of displacement. And as you can see, as soon as it fills with 500 milliliters of gas, bubbles begin to emerge from the neck of the bottle inside the water. Alright, I've raised the uh, the gas collection bottle up a little bit. I wanted you to see how I heated up the bottom slightly and pushed the bottom out where it used to be concave, it is now convex. That way when it uh, settles down on top of the straw, the, tr the straw tends to be self-centering inside the bottom of the, of the bottle. This also increased the displacement of the bottle from 520 milliliters to 530 milliliters. But where you see the line drawn across the bottom okay that is exactly 500 milliliters the remaining space is is 30 milliliters of air space that the straw does not have to be submerged in the water this is what the bottom of the bottle started out looking like you can see how I had taken it and heated it and pushed it so that it is now convex I'll let it settle down and you can see how the water level is right at the line. So as soon as this begins to uh, collect gas, it rises, and as soon as it is displaced five, exactly 500 milliliters of gas, uh, it um, begins to emerge from the neck of the bottle. This should make for some very accurate testing. Also, it is not prone to the problem that I had with one of my earlier designs where when the bottle rose near the top, it uh, had a tendency to topple over. I don't have to worry about that so much at all with this design any longer. Uh, of course, when I was inside showing this to the wife, she said, I suppose now it's going to be on YouTube. And I said, of course. And she said, you dork. Oh well. So be it. That's what I am. Zero fossil fuel. Having fun. Hope you are too.